the land of dawn for game number one between Minana Evos and Team SR. What a what a matchup to start off this top 32 playoffs. It's already a very rare occasion. We get 32 teams to kick off a playoffs for a tournament, but let alone between different regions. And in this case, I want to see what Minana Evos has been cooking in the kitchen with this Faramid support in Pure Rage. Purify against a team from Team SR that wants to play fast. Yeah, I, I like the pickup of spells coming from uh, Lance uh, and also Honey right there. Purify, respecting the uh, Minotaur, respecting the Minion's Fury, being able to kite away from uh, that skill set, uh, showing a very, very, I would say, utmost respect to the crowd control um, by the Minotaur. But will it be enough to stop? Because Kadita still has the Petrify, Kadita still has the uh, Rough Wave, Breath of the Ocean to be able to catch out enemies. So uh, it really depends on their map control as well as map awareness to be able to dictate their own tempo for this match. And I, I also want to see uh, what the new patch is going to do to kind of the scavenger crafts on the side, right? Go oh, link gives look, you look, more look. go, experience gives you more XP. Uh, Team SR Mel actually systematically just clearing out the bushes even though Moe was already there but most importantly is to get this Bruno in a comfortable position right we talked about how this Bruno got nerfed a little bit but those crits oh boy they still hurt they definitely hurt and you did bring up a very very good point because I do want to see this scavenging crap uh, battle because I feel like the Romans should be able to get it a bit so that they are quite ahead in terms of level before the first turtle. But as we all know, uh, our main official smartphone partner, Infinix GT10 Pro, make sure you guys get that phone to be able to game on really, really well. Looking at the patch right now, but on the top lane right now, Rift. It's gonna get gone on three men from Minana Evos on him. The slam of the ultimate, not enough to take him down. Terisla doesn't pump enough damage and Mel shows up, gets the knock with the Ocean Oat, but both teams get to disengage. Minana Evos calls dips on the turtle. I mean, uh, looking at the levels right now, Milty, level 4, Kazen, level 4, as well as Lanes, but... Oh! Wow. First blood going on to the bottom, and Domeng with a solo kill. That is not good if you're a, a Bruno. Team SR wants to contest it. Actually, they will steal the turtle away with the help of Mel and the Petrify. Riff shows up back, but there's four members of Minana Evos around. They're not going to take this fight. Team SR walks away with the objective. Yeah, for those of you who just uh tune in that's not an animation uh, bug that is the new feature on our land of thorn river which gives you a bit of mobility a bit of movement speed to be able to rotate even faster look at the bottom lane right now and strawberry soju man just came back into the game and instantly sent back to the fountain again minana evo is putting on the pressure and adin three minutes in and that bot tier one is already gone I mean, it's not looking good for Team SR right now because Brody has a very, very huge lead on this bot side, being able to get that turret before the fourth minute mark and rotate on the top side to gain even more advantage. So Team SR right now, definitely playing from behind, uh, losing about almost 1k good lead. But hey, it's not the end of the world yet, but they do have to do something to be able to think, uh, turn things around. And with that turret down that early on means that uh... Kadita, you have slightly lesser space to work with, right? That's, that's something that we emphasized before when we saw this Kadita being picked up regardless of the role. But Mel, he's playing a mid lane Kadita, which means that Snowball is even more important. But Team SR, they have bigger problems to worry about, which is going to be on the top side. This Paquito, Kim Michael is going to go down, killing spree for Doming. Ah, that's not looking good right there for a team SRD. They need something right now here, Asuke. They need a, a second-hand specialist like Comagia right now to be able to fix their issues right now, to be able to fix their rotation, their decision-making as well. Because right now, it's looking like a one-way traffic for Minana Evos. But as we all know, in the world of MLBB, anything can happen. Things can change immediately with just one good team fight, And that's what Team SR needs. But they're not getting the opportunity to do so. Yeah, definitely not. And Team SR, they're putting a lot more people just to help out Strawberry Soju. And this is probably one of the few scenarios that you really wish isn't happening, playing a Kadita mid. You look at the levels, wow. right? He's two levels below his behind his counterpart, which is the Valentina. And he's relegated to a utility support kind of mid laner to help out the Bruno instead. Minana Evor should be able to get this turtle, no problem. I mean, not only that, not only that, Husky, Dongmeng right now, 8 levels. Meanwhile, Strawberry Soju is only 6 levels, so 2 levels apart for these good laners, their main damage dealer. And 
as as I mentioned in this current patch, it's very very much hard for you to be able to play from behind, especially with the draft that team SR possesses with the Kadida, with Bruno, as well as Rave using the Martis, not being able to snowball, not being able to get any kind of kills. So they have to do something. They have to do it quick, and not that's not the way to do so. Yeah, Do Domain definitely made it quick and painful for Strawberry Soju. A 3-0 right now in the KD. 2k go difference. Domain has hit two core items where Strawberry Soju is just sitting on a harsh claw and a simple and a simple knife working towards the, the Berserker's Fury. So, I mean, Domain is going to hit like a truck, Malefic Raw, and a Blade of Half to Seize, I believe, working towards a potential a Blade of Despair. Yeah, for sure. A Blade of Despair coming up. I mean, with the Blade of Despair and the two items on hand right now, it's gonna hit like a truck. But look at Kazen right now with the energy eruption. They can't even do anything right now. Even Mel decides to go in, but you know, oh, Kazen oh. noticed him. Oh no, the Taunt actually caught him on the end. They're gonna try to blow everything onto him. But guess what? Kao Alta there just to negate all of the damage. And now the flicker of wow. is onto the back lines. And Minana Evil finds two quick kills. Kim Michael shows up and realizes that the rest of his team have already built on him. He's gonna get pulled back by the Shadow Stampede. And that's three for Minana Evils. Bam, bam, boom. What a wombo combo play by Honey as well as Lancey just now. I mean, with the Nether Realm being able to prolong the team fight, but it's not over yet. Look at Rift. Look at Rift right now. He's gonna die. Uh, just, just managed to escape from death right there. Just barely. Minerva Evos now takes out the last tier 1 turret, and that means that map is shrinking for Team SR. I mean, you could give credits like Mel has not died a single time. Same for Rift. But with the map being constricted that much and the third turtle up, I mean, I Evos, they are going to take everything. I just want to say, in terms of gold lead right now, it's quite significant. I mean, almost 5 to 6k gold difference in the early stages, Sasuke. I mean, it's not even the 10 minute mark, and it's only what, the second turtle? But with a huge advantage that Minana Evos has right now, they have to push the pedal. They have to force the agenda right now up against Team SR. Meanwhile, SR have to regroup, have to decide what's their next move right now. Okay, Flicker, Minoan Fury. That's a good start to the back, but they just don't have damage. Domain DR just absolutely shreds them. That is your Minotaur dying in five shots. Mel also goes down. Two for Minana Evos. Kaizen gets a taunt onto the third. Rift will be able to knock him away. But Domain DR, he is... On fire right now. I mean, Nana Evos, they're gonna take over this jungle. Kim Michael shows up, goes for full combo, only to get pulled back into the hands of Domain, who is now godlike. Uh, things are not looking good for SR right now. You did mention about how Domain DR hitting like a truck. And yes, one, two, three shots onto a Minotaur, and he melts like butter on a hot pan. So. I'm not too sure about Bruno. I'm not too sure about Kadita right now. It's not looking great for them. I mean, as tanky as Minotaur is, but if he gets like one shot just like that, just imagine a Bruno or even a Kadita. Yeah, if 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 your if your front line dies in three shots, you have bigger problems. You have bigger problems than not dealing damage. And team MS, team SR now know this is stat, right? E even when mm -hmm. we look at the XP lane matchup, usually when there's a Paquito into the Terizla, it's very common for the Paquito to try and leave the lane as fast as possible and pressure the side lanes. You move so much faster than the Terizla. But Team SR is so far behind that and Kim Michael doesn't get space to work with him. Moe has to use that ultimate defensively for upon memories oh. will still finish him off. Domain DR is out of control. It's out of control. And the bigger problem right now is what, Husky? is the Nether Ram by Honey right now. Because I mean, credits to Team SR, they did manage to get a few good ultimates off by the Minion's Fury or even the Rough Waves coming in from the Kerida. But the Nether Realm is definitely on time by Honey to be able to prolong the team fight or to negate every single effort by Team SR. So right now, Team SR needs to focus on Honey, needs to be able to burst him immediately before he's able to pop out the Nether Realm. And there's only one guy who can do it, and that's Mel. But mm -hmm. you can't even reach the Faramis, which is a big, big problem. We have breached the 9 minute mark, so first Lord taken by Minana Evos, which is also a good time to talk about roaming boots, right? Now you don't get the extra benefits after 8 minutes, but the first 8 minutes, 45% extra XP and mm -hmm. go. And there was a point where Hani was six out of, was a part of 6 out of 7 total kills that the team has. And you look at his levels right now, he is a uh, level ahead of Moe, but he's actually... Realistically, almost two levels ahead of this Minotaur who just 
got the Dominus Ice. I mean, he's the same level as the EXP laner of the opponent, Kim Michael, level 10. <laughs> an EXP laner, okay? The name itself is an EXP laner. How come your Roamer is at the same level as the opponent's EXP lane? This is the benefit of the new roaming puts uh, changes where it gives you 45% in terms of EXP as well as gold. But it only lasts 8 minutes long. But right now, Lord is going to march on the middle side. Team SR, how are they going to defend this? Only two lanes are synced up, Kim Michael. Looking for the flank of his career. But Mel has already been forced back. Still has the ultimate available. Moe will try to unleash his Minoan Fury. Only gets a knock up on the two. Retreats back. Team SR, they gotta pull the trigger. They gotta make a move soon. Kim Michael does have the sprint available. But Minoan E Force, it will lose the Lord. And Team SR dealing with the wave pretty well. Minoan E Force not able to find any kills just yet. But the wave for the bottom lane is gonna come in. Mel will lose his life. And that is go time for Minana E Force. Kim Michael just oh. showed up, but only to watch his crystal blow up. Minana E Force with a game one sweep. And it was not even close, Adi.